Have you ever wondered how apps like PictureBird make over $300,000 per month while you're stuck watching from the sidelines? Well, what I'm about to show you will completely change how you think about app development or ever. Most people believe you need years of coding experience and a team of developers to build a successful app, but that is completely wrong. In this video, I'm going to reveal how I build a complete copy of the PictureBird app, the same generating insane money and revenue without writing a single line of code. I'm talking about every feature, every screen, even the payment system connected to Stripe, all built using just one AI tool. 99% of people don't know this AI coding tool exists, and the ones who do are keeping it a secret. But today, I'm going to walk you through the entire process step by step to show you the exact tool I used and to prove that anyone can build profitable apps in 2025 without any technical background. Let's dive in. The AI tool that we're going to use is called Replit. And with my code Celine, you'll get a 10% discount and full access to the Replit agent. I added the link in the description below. All right, let's build something that actually helps people connect with the world around them. In this case, a tool for bird lovers, hikers, or just the curious. An app that instantly identifies birds from photos. It's going to be clean, responsive, and feel like part of nature itself. Here's what I'll ask Replit to do. Build an app designed to help users identify birds. The app should be modern and responsive, have a clean and nature-inspired background and design. The main page should show the primary feature that allows users to take a photo or upload photos of birds for instant identification. The app should use the latest Gemini API for photo-based identification. Start the chat. Important disclaimer though, building apps and making money online really isn't that easy, despite what other YouTubers are saying. So when I show you how to build an app, I'm demonstrating the technical process and potential, not guaranteeing your results. These AI tools are legit and the techniques actually work, but success depends on your execution, timing, and honestly, some luck. Most apps don't make money immediately and many don't make money at all. So I'm not promising that you'll get rich or quit your job. This isn't financial advice or a get rich quick scheme. I'm showing you what's possible with these tools and what you do with that knowledge is entirely up to you. All right, expectations set. Let's continue building the app. Replit now brings up a visual preview of the app based on the prompt that you gave Replit. So this will act as a design reference while everything gets built in the background. I'm going to click approve plan to move forward with the development. Next, Replit is asking for the Gemini API key. So to get this, we'll click the provided link here and sign in using a Google account. From there, click Get API Key, hit Create API Key, select Gemini API, and press the blue button to generate the key. Copy it, head back to Replit, paste it in, and then click Continue. The design and features are now aligned into a streamlined working experience. The layout is now fully responsive and leans into the nature-inspired aesthetic. Drag and drop photo upload is now supported, complete with a live preview. After submitting a photo, users will receive detailed identification results showing specific information about the bird species detected. Right now, the app only lets users upload a photo from their device, but that is a bit limiting, especially when someone wants to snap a photo on the spot. So we're going to make that possible. Let's drop this into Replit. I also need an option for users to take a photo directly within the app using their device camera for instant identification. After the Gemini API identifies the bird species, Display the results with the bird information. Now, the app supports two options. User can either upload an existing photo or take one using their camera device. For uploads, just click the Choose File button, pick a photo from the device, and the app quickly identifies the bird and shows the results. Let's try the Take Photo option next. After clicking the button and granting camera permission, the camera view is not showing up. So let's go back to Replit and enter. Uploading photo is working. I can choose a file from my device and upload this to the app, but the Take Photo button doesn't show the camera view after permission is granted. Please fix the Take Photo option and make sure the live camera feed appears so users can take a photo for identification. With that fix in place, the camera view now works exactly as expected. I'll open the app in a browser tab and there you go. The Take Photo button triggers the live camera feed instantly after permission is allowed. And just in case users want to return to the main page, 
there's now a button for that too. Now, let's make the app more than just a one-time identifier. The goal now is to give users a deeper understanding of each bird they scan, something they can return to, explore, and even save for future reference. Here's the prompt we're using. When a user clicks the Identify Bird button, the app should redirect to a bird database. Build a structured bird information database, a comprehensive library with detailed information about the bird, including physical characteristics, habitat, and range maps. You can also include migration patterns, calls and songs with audio samples, and seasonal appearance variations. Time to try it in action. I'll upload a bird photo and click Identify Bird. The app successfully identifies the species and immediately redirects to a full bird profile page. Everything is laid out in a structured format, starting with physical characteristics, followed by habitat details, paired with range maps, and a clear breakdown of migration behavior. Seasonal appearance changes are also covered, and there are audio samples for bird calls and songs right on the page. If users want to keep a record, they can click Save to Database, and their profile gets stored under the Birds Database section. But if we want to turn this into a more personal birdwatching journal, we have to rename some of the buttons so the app feels tailored to each user. What we'll do is to shift from a general database to something more personal. Let's save this into Replit next. Change the Explore Bird Database button name and the Bird Database button name to My Sightings and change the Save to Database name to Save to My Sightings. Once that's done, both navigation buttons now appear as My Sightings clearly reflecting the user's own logbook. The Save to Database button is also renamed to Save to My Sightings, making it obvious that each identification gets saved into their personal collection. Now it's time to customize what the My Sightings page actually does. It needs to function like a proper personal logbook, with each bird saved along with the details, like date, location, and notes, and an easy way to review everything later. We'll tell the AI exactly what we want. In my My Sightings page, create a personal logbook where users can save identified birds to their collection with location, date, and notes. Display all the saved sightings in a dashboard sorted by date with filter and search options. Let's go ahead and test that. I'm going to upload a new bird image, identify it, and save it to My Sightings. The page now acts as a fully featured logbook. Each saved bird shows up in a clean card-style dashboard, complete with species name, scientific name, photo, size, conservation status, and the date it was added. At the top, users can search by species, filter by location or notes, and sort their sightings however they want. Everything is organized and easy to revisit, giving users a real way to track their bird watching over time. However, sometimes users want more than just quick answers. They want to track their discoveries, dive deeper, and turn bird watching into something they can actually build on. So to make that possible, we're setting up a premium plan. So with Stripe integration, users will be able to upgrade for unlimited identifications, access their personal My Sightings log, and earn rewards or credits along the way. And this is what we'll have Replit build. Integrate Stripe for the premium plan, where users can upgrade to premium for unlimited identifications, unlock the My Sightings page, or earn rewards or credits. Set up a Stripe checkout page and pricing page showing free and yearly plans. Replit now prompts for the Stripe API keys. Click the link provided to open the API keys section under the Developers tab in the Stripe dashboard. Copy both the secret key and the public key, paste them into Replit, and click Continue. Stripe is now fully set up. The app displays a clean pricing page where users can compare the free and premium yearly plans side by side. If we click Upgrade to Premium, that will prompt users to enter their username and email, then click Continue to move forward. This redirects them to a secure Stripe checkout page where they can re-enter payment details and subscribe. Once payment is confirmed, premium features unlock instantly. These include unlimited identifications, access to the My Sightings personal logbook, bird call audio samples, and advanced functionality. So at this point, the app is fully built and running with all premium features live. The design remains consistent, modern, responsive, and nature-inspired, and it adapts seamlessly across devices. For identification, users have two smooth options. 
They can upload a photo using the Choose File button or drag and drop, or they can take a photo directly using their device camera. The Take Photo feature now works seamlessly and camera access is granted. The live feed appears right away and there's a button to return to the homepage anytime. Once a photo is submitted, users simply click Identify Bird and the app uses the Gemini API to detect the bird species. It then redirects them to a detailed profile page packed with information like physical traits, habitat details, migration data, seasonal appearance changes, and bird calls with audio samples. If we click Save to My Sightings, it adds that bird to the user's personal collection. The My Sightings page acts as a fully featured logbook showing each entry as a card that includes the bird's name, scientific name, conservation status, size, image, and the date it was added. Users can search by species, filter by location or notes, and sort the list however they like. With everything in place, the app now offers a complete bird watching journey. Interactive, informative, and built for anyone who wants to discover, identify, and track the birds they encounter. So you've just seen a complete app rebuilt from the ground up using AI. No code, no tech background, just clear prompts and one powerful tool. Every feature is live. Bird identification, photo uploads, live camera support, a personal sightings log, and even premium access through Stripe. Like what I said earlier, apps like PictureBird are making over $300,000 a month with this exact structure. The only difference, now you know how to build it yourself. If this opens your eyes to what's possible with AI app development, go try it. Use my code Celine to get your discount on Replit and start building something that actually makes money. See you in the next one.